health care, education, water, nutrition. There are so many pockets of the world that still are in extreme poverty. I mean, a billion people living on a dollar twenty-five cents is wrong. It's just wrong, and we got to do something about it. All of the things that lead to poverty alleviation come from economic growth, and we believe the entrepreneurs in these economies are the engines of growth. We know that there are people out there that can make this world a better place, and we want to get behind them. Thanks to a generous gift from Bob and Dottie King, Stanford University is launching a bold new initiative. I think what the gift allows us to do is it allows us to think in much bigger terms about what it is that we could do. We are going to create an institute housed in the Graduate School of Business to bring our knowledge about entrepreneurship to entrepreneurs who are trying to make a better life. It's called the Stanford Institute for Innovation in Developing Economies. The institute has a long name, but we nickname it SEED. SEED signifies possibilities. Something small that has the potential to grow. It means hope. SEED is going to include three components, research, education and dissemination, and what we're calling an on-the-ground component. Each part of the institute reinforces and supports the others. We will conduct research on how to develop management skills and create an entrepreneurial spirit. In the education and dissemination part of the institute, we will develop courses for our students, courses for entrepreneurs from developing economies, and we will take the knowledge that we have created in the research arm of the institute and disseminate it very broadly using the web and information technology. We also recognize the need of collaboration with on-the-ground people, working with local groups to make things happen. Engineering students, medical students, business students coming together to produce new goods and services that don't exist now. And then we're going to take existing entities from small size to much greater size. Stanford is a creature of Silicon Valley, and Silicon Valley is a creature of Stanford. And what SEED's going to be able to do, which no one else has ever done, is to bring all that genetic code, uh, all that secret sauce, to the places around the world that can benefit from it most. It's not just going to be a think tank. It's going to be results that uh, is going to change people's lives. This is one of the largest gifts in Stanford's history. This is a very exciting opportunity. It is, frankly, for all of us, the opportunity of a lifetime. When I think about SEED, and I think about the opportunity to really make a contribution, we want to say thank you. I mean, we can't do it ourselves. But I think Stanford University can do it. It's going to happen.